My name is Orit Gadish. I always knew that one day I would be telling the story of what we've overcome and what we're going through now. And I hope that this story will become a part of someone else's survival guide. If you, adult or child, or someone you know has been diagnosed with IBD, which is inflammatory bowel disease, including Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, this story may change your life. And I encourage you to take the time to listen patiently. My daughter, Rebecca Bella, who is now four years old, started showing symptoms of Crohn's at four months of age. Her symptoms included bleeding and weight loss. She tried the first line of oral meds for Crohn's, which didn't stop her bleeding and inflammation. Instead, it made her worse, and the bleeding increased. She was in pain, with no energy to even crawl. So at 11 months of age, she was hospitalized and disappearing in front of her eyes. Her hemoglobin levels got so low, it was required to hospitalize her for a blood transfusion and insert a pit line so she can be tube fed to let her digestive tract rest, in addition to administering IV steroids to stop the inflammation and bleeding. We made tough decisions quickly and did what was needed to save her. She was discharged after a two and a half week stay at the hospital and she was sent home with steroids and chemotherapy drugs to suppress her immune system. The doctors at UCLA ensured me that diet had nothing to do with Crohn's. Once I researched the side effects of using these drugs long term on an ongoing basis, I knew I had to find a different solution to get her and keep her in remission. The side effects include osteoporosis and leukemia. I couldn't get myself to continue giving her chemotherapy drugs for the rest of her life, which was prescribed by her doctor. I was told that if I stop these drugs, she will flare again, which means inflammation of the digestive tract, bleeding, and inability to absorb foods. I spend my days and nights researching, speaking with many doctors, both in the US and abroad, both conventional and naturopathic doctors, and I finally found a solution, a diet that would put her and keep her in remission. I found a GI doctor at a reputable children's hospital that prescribes a diet to patients with Crohn's to attain and maintain remission. It's called the SCD diet. SCD stands for Specific Carbohydrate Diet. In four months, Rebecca Bella turns five. She has not taken any medication since the time she was discharged from her initial and only hospitalization. She has not required any surgeries. She's energetic, she's growing, and looks like a normal, healthy, and happy child. She understands that she has a chronic illness and that she can't eat the same foods other kids in her class eat. She can't eat what her sisters and parents eat. She's okay with it and understands she must eat healthy, healing foods to avoid the hospital and tubes. The diet has five phases starting at phase zero or the intro phase, proceeding all the way to phase five. When she catches a cold or flu, her immune system is weakened. She must revert back to phase zero, eating easily digestible foods. Otherwise she flares and begins to bleed, immediately reverting back to phase zero when her immune system is compromised by flu or cold prevents her from flaring and bleeding. You can find many books on the SCT diet online. I'm also a member of a few Facebook groups which have been and continue to be invaluable. For ready-made foods, there are a few online stores where SCD foods may be purchased. There are SCD condiments such as ketchup and barbecue sauce, SCD muffins, breads, cookies, crackers, you name it, you will not be deprived. There are delicious foods you can make as part of the diet. Cookies, candies, chocolate made from cocoa butter, ice cream, and ices. It does get a bit of getting used to and extra time in the kitchen. But once you get your new routine in place, you'll be so glad you have your health and you can avoid surgeries like removing portions or all of your colon and spending one day each month in an infusion center getting your biologics. No side effects to worry about from meds. The key to success of the diet is to follow it 100% of the time and to stay informed. If you eat one thing you should not, well, the diet will not work. There are several nuances, for example, my daughter can't take children's Tylenol, as there are many illegal ingredients that will cause her to flare. Instead, I use an acetaminophen suppository. And when she got sick with strep, I learned that she can't take oral antibiotics since they cause her to flare as well. Instead, I found a local urgent care center that had available injectable penicillin to treat her strep. This bypassed her digestive tract while I treated her strep. I hope you found this video informative. And please feel free to text me anytime at 323-606-1919 with any questions or to set up a time to talk. I'm happy to help and guide you through this process of starting the diet and making part of your life and your loved ones. And my help is free.